as we continue our discussion of AC circuits, we're going to actually look at capacitors and how they interact uh, in an AC circuit. We've seen before that when we have a DC circuit, that the voltage uh, and current can actually both vary with time, even in a DC circuit. And the capacitor takes a while to charge or discharge. So let's now, knowing that fact, let's look at what happens in an AC circuit. And because the capacitor takes some time to charge, the values of the current and the voltage will both change, but they may not change exactly the same and at the same time. They're going to follow a similar pattern to each other, but one is not going to necessarily increase as the other one is increasing. And really this comes down to the idea of charging the capacitor. So a classic um, cur set of curves that we can see, uh, looking at what happens to a current for an AC circuit, the current will vary with time. And because the current is related to the flow of charge, when the current is high, the capacitor starts to charge. However, the capacitor has no charge on it, so the voltage starts out at zero and starts to increase. And as the current decreases, the voltage will start to increase. And as soon as we get to this point down here, where the current stops being positive and turns into a negative direction, goes in the opposite direction, we'll see that the voltage now reaches some maximum value. And that's based off of how much capacitance is in the capacitor and the, the current that we're flowing. So we increase our voltage until the current goes to zero, and then we start taking some of that charge that was on the capacitor, we take it away uh, with the current moving in the opposite direction. So the voltage will increase until the current changes in direction, and then the current will decrease. And if you notice on this, for a pure uh, capacitor, uh, one capacitor in a circuit, no resistance or anything else, that the current lags the voltage by 90 degrees. And this is that phase shift we were talking about in a previous video. In other words, that the peak of the current happens uh, a quarter of a period before the peak in the voltage. And if we were actually look at the equation from before, it just says that the value of phi, our phase shift, is negative 90 degrees. It's 90 degrees out of phase. And when we start talking about AC circuits and capacitance, we'll see that similar to what we've seen between the relationship uh, with resistors, that we can relate voltage and current. And we're going to define a new term called capacitance, capacitive res reactance. Uh, just reactance is the general form, but we're dealing with capacitors, so we have capacitive uh, reactance. And it's defined as following. It says the capacitive reactance, x sub c, is equal to 1 divided by the angular frequency times the capacitance, or the value of the capacitor, where angular frequency omega is related to the actual frequency by a value of 2 pi. Uh, this is for like a wall outlet, we'll see that the frequency uh, f is equal to 60 hertz, so the angular frequency is 2 pi times that 60 hertz. And c is just the value of the capacitance of the circuit. So this was what we've seen before in previous capacitors, where once a capacitor is made, it has a specific capacitance. When we relate this back to the voltage and the current, we find a very similar equation that we've seen before. Mainly, the voltage, the RMS, RMS voltage, is equal to the current, the RMS current, times this term, reactance, this reactance term. And it's pretty similar to what we've seen for Ohm's law, but because there's some slightly unique differences uh, between resistance and uh, reactance. You get a similar form, but really there are two different uh, quantities. We'll actually discuss this in a later video.